before going off exploring as you start the game there's a little red tablet if you click on that it will mark the first boss location for you save coming back to it later on collecting materials is an important part of this game you can pick up branches and rocks just by pressing e when you're close to them you start off with just a measly 25 hp and stamina not very good in combat or when you're running around you need to buff yourself up with foods you'll find quite a few bushes where you can pick some berries and the mushrooms are just down on the ground to get your booster from the food just right click on them you'll get 15 minutes from the mushroom 10 minutes on the raspberries and that will take you up to 46 hp and stamina you can also get yourself some wood by punching the small trees but you've got to get angry you've got to get mean first item you want to be crafting is an axe ideal because you can use it for fighting and for gathering wood by chopping down the trees the generated worlds are absolutely huge in this game you will probably be using the map quite a lot let me show you how to navigate it i'm sure you don't want to end up as a castaway on an island and talking to a football toggle the map on and off by pressing m you can zoom in and out by using the scroll wheel on your mouse you can also left click and drag on the right hand side of the map you will see the two sets of icons a group of two and a group of five the top two are auto generated by the game the skull icon is generated where you die I'm not going to lie to you, Valheim is a pretty harsh game. I've died quite a lot and I've seen this skull icon far too often. I do hope with all these tips it will happen less frequently for you. But unfortunately accidents can happen and you can't blame and claim in this game. You will have to head back to your tombstone to retrieve all of your items as they will be locked away in there. The boss head icon is generated when you discover any of the bosses. Select any of the other five icons and then double left click on the map to mark a location for yourself. When you're at X-Spawn, it's always a good idea to mark the locations of anything decent you find on the map. This will save you a lot of time when you want to collect this item later on in the game. Any drops from combat if you're in the area will be auto-looted, so managing your items in your inventory is a need to know. I'll go through that with you now. If you're out hunting and you've got a long way to get back to your base, and you want to throw away some items because your weight limit, just left-click, drag to the middle, left-click again, and it will chuck them on the floor, if you just want to move the items around in your inventory, just left click, choose a different box and left click again. This comes in handy for when you want to put different items in your hotbar at the top. Splitting any of the stacks in half you can just shift and left click. If you need to split it down by a more precise amount, just use the slider or you can just shift click and then press a number on your keyboard to select an exact amount. The water does look rather nice and if you fancy a swim on a sunny afternoon, it's not like other games because as you go swim in this game your stamina bar will drain down then it'll drain down your health and then you end up bobbing up and down on the river and draining which obviously I don't want happening to you so please be warned after you've been for a nice swim and you just get out of the water you might fancy taking a selfie just press ctrl f3 and this will remove all of the HUD and then you can take a nice picture ooh so strong suits you sir an early game good resource to be collecting is the flint you will find these strewn around the riverbanks and the coastal areas quite easy to spot small grey oblong blocks and you can get plenty of them this way good for making flint arrows flint knives and upgrading other weapons the meadows areas where you just find some balls graining and deer are an ideal place to start your first build i'll just go through the basics now i'm gonna start off by popping down a workbench you have to place the workbench down first because without it you can't do any building once you've placed one you'll see a white dotted line largest ring that's the area in which you can build if you want a bigger base, just put down more workbenches as you need them. The workbench you also need for repairing any of your weapons and armour. However, before you can actually repair any of your weapons and armour, workbenches need to be covered over by a roof before you can actually repair. So just pop down some walls like I will show you now. The building takes a little bit of practice getting used to, can be a little bit janky. I'm sure there will be improvements also in the future though. Line up the white crosshair to where you want it to snap. Then you can use the wheel on your mouse to do the rotation of the pieces as well. I know it doesn't look like a great Viking hall yet, where stories of old will be told, but it will get you started off where you can just repair your weapons and armor and then build as grand a design as you wish. After you've built your Viking hall, you'll have a nice strong starting point to continue your journey. I hope I've helped you out in some way. See you soon and take it easy.